All right now, we are going to measure the uh, crank main journal diameter and the crank pin or the corn rod pin uh, diameter. So we are going to use a micrometer. This one I'm using a 50 to 75 mm uh, micrometer. guys I'm going to show you how to do this uh, crank pin diameter we, we are going to measure it and then we are going to compare with the uh, original spec all right first we need to calibrate our micrometer so first we are going to calibrate it first okay now we got this supposedly it is built for 50 mm 50 mm uh, micrometer so I'm going to put here Alright, and see uh, First we make sure that it is clean so we use some uh, contact cleaner So we just spray a bit into the computer. And then it's supposed to dissolve all the oil that come from the manufacturer use a microfiber cloth to wipe it supposedly it will uh, remove all the oil comes from the factory this is my first time to use it so I'm going to clean it thoroughly first all right Alright, pretty close. About 0.01 mm or 0.015 mm positive. So we are going to deduct it out from the future reading. Now it is time to measure the crank main journals. So I put this micrometer and then try to shake it until I feel a uh, slightly a bit tight and I lock it up further you have to be very very strict on the micrometer so that you measure the it will give you the exact measurement all right I got 61.0 997 but I have to subtract the system error which is 0 0.0 0 0.001 after that then we are going to measure two places okay first is the y-axis and then the x-axis all right so sorry the x-axis over here so we are going to measure first over here okay and then after that then we are going to measure here but we also want to want to see whether this is uh, this crank pin is uh, tapered or not so we are going to measure near to the front side and one more measurement near to the rear side all right so first we are going to put in try to be as vertical as possible and then we try to lock it down use the tensioner as much as you can until you feel there is a slight lock that you cannot turn your micrometer All right. there is a slight lock slight lock All right. so we are going to uh, do it for all the other crank pins also this crank shaft uh, I've been using micrometers to measure the main bearings and then the corner bearings 
but uh, I have, I have uh, lost all my video data about I'm using the dial ball gauge to measure the internal uh, clearance between the bearings for the main and for the corner. So uh, I apologize for it, but uh, I'm going to make up by separating uh, another video to discuss about how to measure using the dial ball gauge. So this is the way that you check the, uh, the diameter for the crankshaft, the main journals and then the crank pin. Okay, uh, after this then you use the dial ball gauge to check what is the diameter of the hole so you can know what's the difference and that is your clearance, that is your tolerance. Okay, but uh, there is another way which I will be explaining to you guys next time uh, which is using the plastic gauge. Check for the clearance. It is a uh, cheaper, but uh, not not hundred percent accurate uh, compared with this uh, micrometer meter. Okay, guys, press the like button if you guys like this video, and share with your friends if you think this video will benefit them. Subscribe for more videos, and I will share more insights of two JZ engine building. See you.